guys on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to update your Mac to the newest OS 10.12.4 you're also gonna include pages right here which is version 6.1 numbers 4.1 and Keynote 7.1 as you can see there's quite a few updates they've done to these um, programs right now um, the OS if you can see right here they updated some stuff so night shift is a good one okay that's something that's for iphones ipads finally they integrated that into your mac which is useful and uh, i think that's the biggest one besides that siri it's not the biggest thing for me personally and there's some other fixes that come with this update not to update all you guys have to do well you could go to the website in apple but you don't have to okay so what we want to do is on your mac you guys are going to click on your apple up here on the top left hand corner go into your app store from your app store this should load up now in your app store you guys are going to see future top categories purchases and updates in updates all you guys have to do is just let it upload okay everything that it has once it has all this just put update all if you guys don't see okay so download and restart if you guys don't see this right here don't worry about it it's gonna load uh, maybe you guys will see pages numbers keynote first and then it's gonna do everything else um but anyways you guys should do those updates first then this one because it's gonna um just restart your mac now this shouldn't take more than 30 minutes for some of you who have slow internet it could take an hour if you have a slow mac plus slow internet not so great right um if you guys have normal internet it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes if you guys have been waiting for more than three hours or so then something might be wrong and uh, hopefully you guys made a backup using time machine time machine is really good to have so let me just show you my time machine so this is my time machine it's a free program that comes in your mac installed okay and the way you use this is using an external hard drive so i suggest using it because you can always go back in time before you even installed any of these updates for example um, you can also restore your Mac using this, so it's really good. It's a program that I highly recommend. I do have videos that show you how to set this up with any external hard drive, and I show you the basics of Time Machine. So I do recommend that when we're getting into these updates, okay? These updates are not that huge, but anyways, I always recommend having Time Machine on and just making that um, backup before you do any updates, just in case. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.